The Canadian Army recently completed two major exercises, Exercise Maple Resolve and Exercise Agile Ram 21. Both exercises were required to adhere to the necessary COVID-19 health and safety measures while executing still other essential elements to provide training events of this magnitude to CAF and allied participants. Today, we're fortunate to be joined by commander of one Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group, Colonel Wade Rutland, who joins us to discuss both these exercises and how the Army successfully completed the training underpinned by COVID considerations. Thank you for joining us today, Colonel Rutland. I was hoping that you could start us off with maybe a quick overview of both exercises and how, if at all, they were conducted differently this time around. Sure, so the 1st Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group, or one brigade, just came off of eight weeks of field training in Base Wainwright in Alberta. Uh, they were called Agile Ram and Maple Resolve. So Maple Resolve was what we call a force-on-force -force exercise. So uh, soldier versus soldier, battalion versus battalion with uh, you know, laser weapons simulation. That's really to train um, against a breathing, thinking enemy, the type that we would actually uh, come up against on a combat operation. What we did then is we transitioned into what was called Agile Ram, where um, we actually fought against targets. So it was a live fire exercise where we used uh, tanks, infantry engineers, helicopters, artillery, and all our support capabilities to you know, test ourselves using our weapons night vision equipment by day and night. What that did is it instilled confidence in our soldiers and leaders that we could fight uh, using our weapon system against any enemy. Certainly it was different than um, iterations of this we've conducted in the past. And that was of course, because of COVID. We isolated for seven days before we got there. Every single soldier conducted a COVID test upon arrival. We lived with much smaller capacity and tents. We had far more hand washing stations. We, we stopped the exercise for three days right in the middle to conduct a mass COVID vaccination clinic um, in Wainwright, where we had 92% voluntary uptake of the Moderna va uh, vaccine. No, that's outstanding, sir. And now that both exercises are, are completed, what would you say is the biggest achievement, and maybe it has something to do with operating in a COVID environment, that, uh, that, that you guys realized, as well as maybe the biggest challenge as well? Yes, yeah, so actually the biggest challenge and the biggest achievements are, are really interrelated. And I think it was, we're used to getting this type of training done on every, every three years. We, each each uh, army division goes through this high readiness training cycle. But, but this time, you know, it was also the home front that, that had a lot of, of uh, unknowns. So, for example, Alberta schools closed right in the middle of, of the exercise, which, you know, of course, a lot of soldiers had to work through family care plans and these sort of things. So the fact that, you know, eight weeks in that environment with, with the soldiers able to deploy and overcome those challenges, I think it was the greatest challenge, but also the greatest achievement. Thank you very much for that, sir. And before we sign off, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I would actually, I think what this really showed is the, the, the power of the Canadian military family that stands behind every soldier and leader. And, you know, the, these families had to deal with a, a complex environment where they may have had, you know, children at home and they still had to figure out work plans. And so to be able to support uh, the deployed soldier, I think just goes to show that it's, it's a big team effort that, that provides security to Canada and Canadians. And it's not just the soldiers and leaders. So I don't know how many families watch the defense news, but certainly we'd like to give a big shout out to, to, to those families. I echo that, sir. So thank you very much for joining us today. Congratulations on completion of the exercise and uh, see you soon. Thank you.